Today's Flash reviews are all about bullets, bombs and bits. High action games with art styles harking back to the games of eras past. Number 1. Super Cyborg this is a side-scrolling shooter which puts you in the shoes of a cyborg warrior, sent to investigate mysterious goings-on on an island who discovers an alien threat bent on taking over the world. Though much like the games in emulates, the story is insignificant in comparison to the gameplay, which as you can probably see, is basically Contra by any other name, right down to the mechanics and weapons, and by virtue of that it is very fun. It is also very difficult, giving you only three lives and taking away any weapons you obtain if you die. One slightly annoying thing is that some sloped surfaces are on a slightly different angle to your gun's shooting direction, making shooting up them a little bit difficult. Other than that though, it's a whole lot of fun and certainly worth its very reasonable asking price of only £3.99. Number 2. Planes, Bullets and Vodka In this Soviet-themed shoot-em-up, you are a man in a plane who has to shoot other planes, and that's pretty much all I could gather from it. It's a pretty standard shoot-em-up, and it's okay, I guess, but the gameplay isn't overly challenging or interesting. Your gun is quite underpowered to start with, but as soon as you get enough power-ups, the gameplay basically turns into hold the fire button whilst moving left and right repeatedly. The menus are also kind of difficult to read, since they do that thing of using Cyrillic letters which look like English ones in the text for a quick and easy Soviet aesthetic. It only costs about 79p though, so I suppose with this game you probably get just about what you're paying for. Number 3. Luftrausers. I'm going to say this right away, Luftrausers is an absolute blast. You are the pilot of a lone plane known as a Rouser, which by the way is not correct German, in the midst of a massive naval war trying to hold out for as long as possible whilst the enemy throws absolutely everything they have at you. You can swap out the weapon, body and thruster of your Rouser, of which there's a fair few to unlock, and interestingly, when you switch a part out it causes a slight change in the background music, which by the way is pretty awesome. It's a lot of fun to mix and match the different parts to find your favourite combination both to play with and to listen to the background music it generates. Each part also has its own set of objectives you can complete, though after a while it insists that you kill a blimp, a very rare, very difficult to beat enemy, before it lets you complete any more objectives. In fact, so rare are blimps and so low is my skill that I've never actually managed to encounter one, so it does feel like a bit of a roadblock when that happens. Overall though, it's good, fast-paced, frenetic fun which is simple to grasp but very hard to master. A typical game doesn't usually last very long either, so it's the perfect time killer for those without much gaming time on their hands. Number 4. Minimized. Imagine if someone tried to port the Wolfenstein 3D engine onto an old 8-bit computer from the early 80s. The results would probably look a bit like this. If you couldn't tell already, Minimized is a very minimal first-person shooter in the style of early games of the genre, like the aforementioned Wolfenstein 3D. And by very minimal, I mean very minimal. The graphics are incredibly simple, and while that works in some games, in Minimized it really, really does not. There's nothing wrong with the gameplay, and the chiptune soundtrack is alright, but the graphics are really quite problematic. It's really, really hard to work out where you're going or where doors are when you approach them from an angle. Aside from the iffy graphics, there's a lot of power-ups and very, very little in the way of explanation as to what they do. One loading screen explained that to win the game you need to collect 500,000 units of energy, but it didn't seem to explain much aside from that, and on top of that there doesn't really seem to be a way to check how many units of energy you have. So all things considered, Minimized is a valiant effort, but in its attempt to replicate the old masters and stand out in its presentation, it stumbles several times along the way and the result is probably not really worth your time. Number 5. Super Amazing Wagon Adventure do you remember the old game The Oregon Trail? Super Amazing Wagon Adventure is a complete piss take of that game, and at that, actually quite a funny one. Much like The Oregon Trail, you control a family in their wagon as they partake in Super Amazing Adventures, which are semi-randomised and can include such wacky occurrences as getting caught in a unicorn ambush, literally jumping over a river instead of fording it, being jumped by an army of rabid squirrels while foraging for berries, and passing right through a civil war battle. It's Utterly, utterly mad, totally unpredictable and above all completely hilarious, enough so to render the pretty bog standard side-scrolling shooter gameplay and sometimes slightly irritating bullet dodging such trivial issues as to be completely inconsequential and on the whole, it's a thoroughly enjoyable madcap romp. Even if you haven't played the game it so heavily parodies and it's easily two of the best pounds you will ever spend. That is all for this video, be sure to like, subscribe and share with your friends, leave a comment if you liked it, leave a comment if you didn't like it, and I'll see you all next time. Ta-ta!